So it's hard to imagine Detroit's skyline without the Renaissance Center. This is true. Standing along the riverfront for 47 years, some are hoping brighter days are ahead for the towers, despite GM's plans to relocate along Woodward. Will Jones has been digging into the impact on other downtown businesses. Change is coming to downtown. We spent the day talking with businesses at the Renaissance Center and along Woodward about General Motors big move. Of course, their perspectives differ based off their location. With the future of the Renaissance Center up in the air with General Motors moving its global headquarters to the Hudson's Detroit development on Woodward downtown, other tenants are concerned about what it will mean for them. Allegra owner Kurt Eschenberg is hoping Bedrock breathes new life into the Rinsen. General Motors builds cars. Let's face it, they're, they're not in the commercial real estate business. The next chapter could include commercial, residential, or mixed uses. GM, Bedrock, and the city are planning to take a year to figure that all out. These days, um, uh, urban planning is based more on, you know, open concepts and, you know, being uh, being accessible to all people. Um, with regards to the Rensen, that poses, the, the way it was built poses a lot of, a lot of complications for its ultimate reuse. Along Woodward, where GM will call home in 2025, many nearby businesses are looking forward to the increased foot traffic from the automakers office workers. What can I get for you folks today? It's really going to help a lot of the businesses down here. It's really, it's not just me. It's, it's Lapa Courtney around the corner. We're big lunch crowd people. We're not much dinner. I just have a better made chip. The chocolate shop Bon 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 is located off Woodward, tucked away in Parker's Alley. Any business where the employees are like closer will give us a lot more foot traffic, which would be really essential for all the businesses in the alley. Ultimately, businesses within the rent center are hoping for more foot traffic. One person described it today as a ghost town, so they're looking forward to the redevelopment. From Belle Isle, Will Jones, Local 4. There are a lot of us. All right, Will, we appreciate it.